So let's start our session this afternoon. We are going to continue with the measures of central tendency as well as the measures of variability. So can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So I will show you again our presentation. This was our presentation last uh, time, last Friday. It's about the mean, median, and mode, or the measures of central tendency for the ungrouped data. So we will recall again the different operations that we used for the mean. We just got the, the average. We also had a weighted mean, wherein each of the measures given has a corresponding weight. That is why we have summation of x times W, because you are going to multiply each measurement by its corresponding weight, and the summation will be divided by the total weights. So that was the example given last time. And we also had, after the mean and the weighted mean, we also had the median, that is the middle location, the middle most observation. If we have to get the median, again, the first thing to do is to arrange in either descending or ascending order. Then the last one was the mode. This is the most frequent observation. Ang pinaka daghan nagbalik balik, that's the mode. This is the most unreliable measurement of the central tendency because you are just use, using your eyes, you are not calculating. That was all about the group data, the ungrouped rather. For this afternoon, we will have a short discussion about the measures of central tendency for the grouped data before we proceed to the last part, which is the measures of variability. So when we talk about group data, unlike before, yung binigay ng mga examples in the previous session, di ba isa-isa siya gihata, just like this one. For example, this will be our exercises for the ungrouped data, wala siya gigrupo, meaning isa-isa gihatag ang values. For the group data, gigrupo na siya. So this will be the, the case. So wala kakabalo kung unsa jud ang values. So for example, the following table shows the distribution of heights of a group of 40 students. So, gi grupo na siya daan, gi table na siya. So, wala ka kabalo. There is a uh, from 159 to 162 centimeters. Pila ka buok ay isa ka buok tiri, pero unsa ang iyahang specific na height. From 163 to 166, upat daw sila ka buok sudyante, pero wala gi specify kung unsa yun ilahang height. Basta nag-fall lang siya dito. So, in ani ang dagway sa group data set. Nag-gets ninyo ang difference sa group and ungroup data? Yes, sir. So, in ani siya. There will be cases in ani ang ihatag sa statistics. So, what will you do? So, we have another set of formula to be used when we are dealing with group data. Kung nakagrupo siya, usually nakatable siya, in ani daw ang yahang formula. So, for the mean for the group data, mean is also known as class mark. That is the, another term when we use sa group data na mean. The formula is equal to the summation of F, which stands for the frequency. Ang frequency, kung kapila siya nagbalik, just like kung ibalik itong table, kanyang number of students, muna siya ang frequency. Sa kanyang po nga example, ang number of students, muna siya ang frequency. Then sa weekly expenditure, ang number of families will also represent the frequency. Later, we will also discuss another kind of frequency, which is cumulative frequency. So this time, frequency lang yung kailangan. I-multiply ni mo sa x sub m, which is represented by the class mark. Ang x sub m is the class mark or the midpoint. Kung unsa to siya nga interval ang gihatag dito, kaya wala man specify kung unsa iyahang height sa example, then you will just get the midpoint or the class mark. Then N, ang imuhang divisor, is the number of sample. 
For example, this is the given table. We have another situation. Initial height, this is the frequency distribution obtained from 100 randomly selected high school students. So this is all about Siguro scores uh, test, 134 is the highest and 90 is the lowest. So as you can see, nakatable siya. So ang tawag ani is group data. So from 90 to 98, ang nakakuha ani is unum ka estudyante. 99 to 107, there are 22 students. 108 to 116, 40 ka buok ang nakakuha ani ng scores. And 117 to 125, 24. And then 126 to 134 is the highest uh, interval. Eight lang sila kabuok. So there are 100 tanan. I-add mo ang frequency dapat 100 din siya kay 100 man ang gihatag sa problem. So if you will compute for the mean of this data, so i-follow to nimo ang formula. Summation of, katong naa sa numerator, summation of F times X sub M or the frequency times the class mark. So, imuhang kwaon ang frequency na naman kay F given man na siya, ang class mark karon Class mark is just equal to 90, kaning lower boundary plus the higher boundary. So, 90 plus 98 na divided by 2. So, kitawag po na siya nga midpoint kay mamon siya ang nasa middle nilang duha sa class interval. Nakuha ninyo? It would be better if you will have your calculator while we are discussing this one kay para paspas ni siya. 99 plus 107 divided by 2, that's 103. So 103 is the class mark for the interval 99 to 107. Next, 108 to 116. Imo na pang i-add ang 108 plus 116. Then divided by 2 is 112. 112 is the class mark. Next is 117 plus 125 divided by 2, 121. And finally, we have 126 plus 134 divided by 230. So, nakuha na nimo ang mga class marks. Kailangan nato siya karun i-multiply kay di ba? Summation of F times X sub M. So, you have to multiply 6 times 94. There you go. So, you have 22 times 103, 40 times 112, 24 times 121, and 8 times 130. So, ang sum ani nilang tanan, 564 plus and so on. Until 1040, moto siya ang summation of F times X sub N, M, which is actually your numerator. So we have 11,254 as our numerator. And our denominator is N diba, divided by N as a formula. Ang N is ang number of frequency, which is 100. So 11,254 divided by 100 is 112.54. Therefore, the mean score of the given data since naka group man siya so lahi ang pamaagi sa pag solve nato pero nakuha gyud po nato ang answer is 112.54 nakuha ninyo yes sir yes sir okay yes, sir. very good if you are using ms excel and i background sa ms excel dali ra kayo ni siya i-solve kay nana may formula go dito so you can yes, actually sir. get the the answer by just using the formula so, diretso na siya. So, right now, it is also recommended to use tools like Excel or if you have SPSS and other software in statistics, ginagamit na siya para paspas pas solve ang mga problems na kailangan isolve, especially if this is group data. So, I'm just showing you the process kay para kabalo mo, later on when you will be solving, then you have the background. Next is median for the group data. There is also another technique na gamiton kung median ang gihatag, pero group data. This is the formula. So median stands for X, tapos na siya symbol sa taas niya. That is the median. Is equal to L or the lower, the lower class boundary of the median class. You will know later kung saan pagkuha ang class boundaries. So L, lower class boundary, plus... We have the quantity for the numerator. We have n over 2. As you all know, n is the number of sample, the number of the total frequency, the number of observation. Divided by 2, 2 is constant. Minus, kaning symbol nga less than CF, ang pasabot ani is the cumulative frequency above the median class. So magkuha dito cumulative frequency later, pero above the median class. 
divided by f sub m that is the frequency of the median class then you multiply the antony mo katoshang quantity times i which is the size of the class interval so that is the formula so ato ang ipakita ang process so the same gihapon ang given nga data 100 students scores nila and then we have the same six 22 40 24 and 8 the same frequency so unsay mga kailangan nato para ma solve to siya kailangan nato ang frequency of the median class kailangan nato ang lower class boundary of the median class kailangan nato ang interval ang i class interval of the median class and all the classes and kaning cf cumulative frequency so kailangan nato magdungag og another column that is cumulative frequency so sa so, pagkuha ang cumulative frequency so dapat naka arrange ang imong data from smallest to largest as you can see 90 ang lowest na siya sa pinakaunahan pinakababa mo tong highest 134 so kung magsugod ka sa 6 na frequency you will just copy that so you have to construct the cumulative frequency by by just adding cumulative man siya so padayon lang nimo add so the first frequency is 6 i add mo sa second frequency nga 22 so 6 to 22 28 then plus 40 68 then plus 24 92 then plus 8, 100. So, dapat ang last nga entry ni mo sa cumulative frequency is equal to the number of observation. So, 100 man siya. So, dapat 100 po ang na -adere. So, again, ang cumulative frequency is kopyahon lang ni mo ang first data sa frequency tapos i-add ni mo sa sunod. Tapos i-add na po ni mo. So, ang result ang imong ipang sulat dito sa cumulative frequency nga column. Now, you have to determine the median class. Uh, what is the class, the interval class containing the frequency, the, the CF? So actually, it's kanina naas sa tunga. Kahit tanaw ni mo ang pinagin nila kabuok, 100 Five. kabuok. 100 kabuok sudyante, di ba? So kung 100 kabuok, following the concept of median, di ba? Ang median is tunga. Sa concept na to, di ba? Kung iari, naka-arrange naman siya from smallest to largest. So, atong i-determine karon ang pinakatunga nga observation. So, kung 100 siya, kung saan naas sa tunga sa 100? 68. 68 ba naas sa 100? Di ba 50? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 100 ka buok ba? So, na kay 50 sa unahan, na kay 50 sa ulahi. So, somewhere na sa 50. 50 and 51. 50, 51 na diha ang center. Sa cumulative frequency, may bala na ito, aha, nag-fall itong ika-50 o ika-51 na observation. Na siya dito sa 68. Pero sa ipasabot, Ana. Kaya ang first 6 naman dito sa unahan, ang ika-7 at ika-28 na observation na dito sa 99 to 70. Ang ika-29 at ika-68 na observation na sa 108 to 116. So na dito na bilong ang ika-50 o ika-51 na dito, di ba? Yes, so that is why kani siya 108 to 116 mo na siya ang gitawag na median class. Kaya na adri na ma-locate, na adri makita ng median. So, imuha na gamit ang formula sa median. Kani? So what is the lower class boundary of the median class? 90. Dili. 108 to 116 man, di ba? So ang lower class ani is mag-minus ka og 0.5 sa 108. That is the lower class boundary. Kaya 108 man ang yahang less nga value and then 116 ang yahang highest value sa yang interval. So para makuha ang lower class boundary, mag minus ka 0.5. So ang lower class boundary po sa 99 is 98.5. Ang lower class boundary aning 90 to 98 is 89.5. So mag minus ka 0.5. Since ang atong median class is 108 to 116, ang lower class boundary niya is 107.5. Nag-gets nag ninyo, mag-minus ka o 0.5. Yes, sir. Sure. Last, we have 100, our N, the number of observation divided by 2. So this is equal to 50 already. Minus the community frequency of the median class, di ba before or above the median class? So median class ay yung Cumulative frequency is 68. Ang iyahang above is 28. So, mag-minus ag 28 dito divided by 
the frequency of the median class. So, median class na ito, kay kanimang 108 to 116, yung yeah, frequency is 40. So, divided by 40, then, what is the class size? Ang class size is pila sila kabuok sa isa ka interval. So, pila kabuok number from 90 to 98. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9. Ang 99 to 107, yapo ni mo 9 po. Ang 108 to 169 po. Actually, uniform ni sila tanan o class size. That is 9. So, using your calculator, imo nang i-calculate, then the result is 112.45. So, it's somewhat close kanina sa yung mean na uh, atong i-compute is 112 di hapon, pero lahil lang decimal niya. So, that is how to compute the median if you are using your calculator. Pero if you are using other software, dali na siya ma-solve. So, anyway, di naman siya na to i-kailangan pa i-exercise. Ipakita naman ako sa inyo ang saan pag-solve. The last is the mode for the group data on saan pagkuha sa mode. Pwede na gahapon may bala ng mode even though wala siya kipakita ang data one by one, nakatable siya. So the formula is the mode is equal to you still have the lower class boundary L plus the quantity of, for the numerator we have F sub M, the frequency again of the mode, mode class na karon minus F sub A, the frequency of the above. So ang uh, the modal class above it, the frequency above. That's A. Ang denominator, we have twice or two times F sub M minus F sub A. Again, the frequency above the mode class. Then you also have F sub B minus F sub B. Ang, ang sub B na po sa F is the frequency below the mode class. And then aga po ni I as the multiplier, that is the same gap po na meaning the class interval size. So taking note of that formula, ato nang isolve yaha the same problem katong score so 100 students. So we have the mode. What is the mode class? Again, ang definition sa mode, ibalik ito ang mode is ang pinaka nagbalik-balik, frequent, pinakadaghan o frequency. So sa ilahatan na ahadid ang pinakadaghan frequency. 40. Ang 40, di ba? So that is 108 to 116. So ang 108 to 116 is also our mode class. So use the formula for the mode, katong gihata ganina, tapos i-substitute na to. If 108 to 116 is our modal class, our mode class, what is the lower class boundary? 24. The lower class boundary? 6. Ano ito makuha ganina, lower class boundary gani? 107.5. Very good. 107.5. And nag-minus naman tag 0.5 sa lower lower yes, part niya. So, 107.5 ni Dere plus, what is F sub M? Frequency of the modal class. 40. 40. Very good. 40. Minus F sub A, what is the frequency of the class above? 22. 22. 22. Sa baba, we have already the, the value 40. 2 times 40 minus 22. What is F sub B? Below. 24. 24. Times, what is I? 9. 9. To substitute those values, we have 107 plus 40 minus 22 divided by 2 times 40 minus 22 minus 24 times 9. Using your calculator also, the correct answer is 112.26. So, na decimal siya. So, ang mode is 112.26 for the group data. So that is how to solve the mean, median, and mode using group data. But in your examination, I will only in include the ungrouped data. Para dili ma, maglibog, and then tagahan kay formula nga i-memorize. So do you have questions? We are now on the last topic. Before we proceed to the last topic of the part for statistics in mathematics in the modern world, do you have questions? I will entertain questions. I think wala, no? So, very good. Very, mga, fast, mga fast learners ang mga estudyante. Maugani, mga bright. So, kaayo mo, wala mo yung questions, Jude. So, let's proceed to the next one, the measures of variability. So kung ato ang gikuha sa measures of central tendency was katong center, di ba? Center nga measurement. For example, unsa ang 
mean sa inyong score sa exam. So, magkuha tag pinaka-center ato. So, kwa ano itong average. That is the measure of central tendency. Pwede po mode atong gamiton, pwede po median, but the most re reliable, again, is the mean. How about kung variability atong pangitaon? Unsa ang naasa variability? Any idea? Unsa yung gina-measure aning variability? From the word vary. Variability is taken from the root word vary. Unsa yung pasabot, Ana? Panangi ko ha, Ana. Variable. Variable. Variable ang ikuha. So, not quite. Maslay. Conser. Conser. Variable ability. So, maning, sa may pasabot na ng variable ability. Abilida, ability nga mag-variable. So, we are going to clarify that later. So, thank you for your guess. But for the lesson for this afternoon, we have the objective to identify the measures of variability. And we also have calculation. Don't forget, we will calculate since we are involving measurement. So when we talk about variability, there are also two kinds. We have group data and ungrouped data. And again, ang include nato sa examination is only for the ungrouped data. Ay para sa yun lang siya, di mo maglisto, especially nag-involve like, og a lot of formula ang group data. So para mahibalan nato ang difference sa uh, measures of central tendency and measures of variability, we will have this scenario. So we have uh, the scores of Boys and girls in math. So, duha ka grupo, gidivide nila. So, naatay grupo sa mga lalaki o naatay grupo sa mga babae. So, look at the scores of the boys and the girls. What can you observe? Do you have any observations sa ilang scores? Kung kwa ako na ito. Same sila of sir. Very good. So, that's a good... Uh, Observation, na yung nagsulti nga, lahi isilag score, that's one. Another one is, the same silag mean. So kung ang ato ang tanawon lang dari is, ang ilahang average, the same silag average, puro sila 81. Pero there are other cases nga pwede na to i-differentiate ang duha ka data set, di ba? Even though pareha silag mean, pareha silag central tendency, pero ang ginatanaw mga sa variability, Unsa sila ka dugol ug unsa sila ka lagi unsa ka uniform ang data ug unsa ka ka spread out ang data mo na siya ang gina-measure sa variability so kung i-graph nato ni siya lailahi ang manggawas ani so which group performs better than the other so kung ato ang basihan kay ang measure of central tendency using the mean because the mean is the most reliable measure tay silang duha di ba Kinsa ang mas haod, lalaki or babae? So looking at the data, using the mean, tayo dito silang duha kat parehas yun 81, ilang average, ilang mean. Pero if we will use the measures of variability, mas mabreak na to ang tayo. Ano man, for the measure of variability, makita dito kung kinsa ang makalat kaayo o ilang data o kinsa po itong mas dugol ang data. And when we talk about measures of variability sa math, the more spread out ang data, the worse. The more nga mas uniform ang data, much better. So we will go for the closer nga data. Meaning pare-pareha ang ilahang ability. So ang lalaki na ay nag-score o gamay kaayo, na po yung nag-score o dako. Ang babae is halos sila parehos o score. So between the two, isa ang much better ang, ang performance. If we will look at the measures of variability, then the girls win. Nagets niyo ang measurements of variability? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very clear ba ang pagka-explain? Yes, yes, sir. Copy, sir. Ito ang measurements of variability. So when we talk about uh, the measurement calculation, we have to know first the definition. So the measure of variability is just a summary value that represents the amount of dispersion. When we talk about dispersion, di ba? when we say disperse, meaning magkalat sila or manglakaw sila, mag, mag spread out sila. So muna siya ang ginakompute sa statistical definitions of variability kung unsa kakalat ang imuhang data. 
So in statistics, variability is synonymous to dispersion and spread, which denote the width of the distribution. So kung tanaw ni mo ang respondents ni mo, katong nag nag survey mo before, if you can recall, tanaw ni nyo inyo hang data, especially if your study is quantitative. Makita ni mo dito kung the same ba og opinion ay mo mga respondents or dili lay lay sila opinion kung the same sila halos og opinion ang imuhang measurement sa variability is gamay usually ang gigamit sa research is standard deviation are you familiar with that nagamit mo na sa senior high school niyo yes sir standard deviation okay. kung gamay ang standard deviation niya meaning halos pareha sila ang answer pero kung lagkalay lahi lang opinion lay lahi lang idea so dako ang iyahang gawas ng standard deviation mo na siya because standard deviation is actually one of the measures of variability so kung yata yung graph in ani ang dagway so na siya mga interpretation because there are a lot of softwares right now available SPSS is just one statistical pass package for social sciences that is actually what you are using when we treat data statistically, mo na siyang pinaka common pair. There are still a lot of available products nga pwede nato gamiton. Then makakita ta mga ani nga mga graph. Makita ni mo la very kalat ang iyahang data, very close po ang uban which will give an interpretation para sa imuha as a researcher kung nagkahiusa ba sila or wala. So the first measurement which is also very easy is the range. So when we talk about the range, this is just the difference between the highest and the lowest observation. So the formula is very easy. Highest minus lowest or H minus L. So for the boys, katong i-recall na itong gihata ganina nga scores, ang highest is 100 minus the lowest 60, so ang range nila is 40. Whereas for the girls, kung nasa lang 83 nga highest, 79 ang lowest, ang range nila is only 4. So between the two, ah, ang mas dako, 40 or 40? Or 4? 40. 40. 40. So meaning mas dako 40. or mas kalat, mas kalat, mas spread out or mas dispersed ang score sa mga boys compared sa girls. So much better performance sa girls. Kaya mas gamay og score sa variability, much better. So therefore, the girls are more homogeneous than the boys in terms of math ability based on the given data. So, we prefer nato sila. That's the range. Wala yung question sa range. Highest minus lowest lang siya. Okay, the second one is the mean deviation. The mean deviation, on the other hand, is the average of the summation of the absolute deviation of each observation from the mean. So, take note of the formula. Nakay nakita dali nga murag sigma na po, di ba? So, summation, giha po na siya. Nakay duha dali ka murag line line segment nga straight ang absolute uh, absolute value ang pasabot ana unsa gani meaning sa absolute value if you can still recall your math in high school absolute value unsa pasabot ana the absolute value of x sub i minus x bar mo ni siya ang mean uh, kaning x sub i is kwa unto nimo isa-isa ang iyang mga data kay ang group man ni siya then, I minus ni mo ang mean dito, divided by ang small letter n is the number of observation. So, tanawin ko natog balik ang boys atong unahon. Unsa ang yang mean deviation? First, we have to get the mean. So, 70 plus 95 plus 60 plus 80 plus 100 divided by lima sila ka buong representative. So, divided by 5. 405 divided by 5 is 81. So, nakuha ng mean, 81. Therefore, para makuha ito na itong x sub i minus mean, isa-isa ko na itong minus ang kaning scores nila sa 81. So, what is 70 minus 81? Negative. Negative 11, Negative 11 di ba? Pero when we talk about absolute value, magiging ibutangan na ito siya o absolute value nga symbol. Okay, it's because... Pasabot, Anna, is you have to take the positive answer. So, absolute value means the value of the positive. number taking the positive. the positive. Yes, positive sign. So, regardless of negative ba siya or positive, positive, bidin mong kuhaon. 
So next, a Russell 95 minus 81, 14. Negative 14. Positive na kay mas dako man na 95 kaysa sa 81. Wow. So 14 gihapon. 60 minus 81 is actually negative, pero you have to take the absolute value, so it's 21. 80 minus 81 si Jerome, actually 1 iyahang difference, so that's positive 1 kay absolute man. Then kay Tom, 100 minus 81 is 19. So muna iyahang mga deviation from the mean, iyahang ganing kalay on sa mean ng 81, muna iyahang mga scores. I-add na to ni mo, 11 plus 14 plus 21 plus 1 plus 19, that's 66. So 66 divided by, pila sila kabuok, your N is 5, so that's 13.2. The mean deviation for the boys is 13.2. Na gets niyo? Now let's have, let's so, have so, the first. Okay, okay, before we proceed, number one question. Go ahead. Sir, can, wala lagi na, on sa asa ka nagkuhaan ng answer 60 or over 5, sir. Sa formula, ba? Sa formula. Ano yung formula? Ito yung meaning ng X or Y, sir. Katong minus to ganina, summation of the absolute value of x sub i katong imuhang bawat value isa-isa. x sub i, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. Ang x sub 1 katong score ni pinakauna. Ang x sub 2 katong score ni Russell. Ang x sub 3. So, katotanan, isa-isa na to siya og minus sa mean. Muna ni siya ang numerator. Ang denominator, mo to siya ang number of observation. Yes, sir. So, Thank you, sir. from the formula, ato ang gibalik sa table, mo na ni siya. 11, 14, 21, 1, o 19. Mo, to siya. Eh, mo na siya ang x sub 1 kay Frederick, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, x sub 5. So, x sub 5 lang tataman kay 5 lang man sila kabuo. So, kung i-add na ni nato, mo na tayo natay summation na symbol. So, mo na siya summation of x sub i minus x bar, 66. Niya ang ka 405, sir. Mo na siya ang Appeal ni siya sa pagkuha sa mean sa katong x bar. Ang x bar is 81 man. Ang x bar, mo ni siya ang mean. Unsa yung mga minus sa bawat isa sa ilaha. Yes, sir. So, Pero kanang, ma di mo makuha ang 81. Sir, wala na siya ilabot sa formula, sir. Appeal, uh, wala siya ilabot sa formula, pero appeal ni siya para makuha ang mean. Kaya di mo makuha ang 81 kung wala ni mo ni kiaad. Okay, sir. 105 okay, sir. divided by 5 is 81. So, importante gapon siya. So, mo siyang 81 na naandari. So, after you, getting all the... So, wala na questions. Ha? Ansiran ba ang questions? That is why you yes, have... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. na lang nato o substitute and you get the answer. 13.2. Now, let's try kung nakuha ba ninyo. Compute the mean deviation or MD for the girls. So, nagtagihata na ako dira ang mga values. So, I will reveal the answer later. Please compute and you send your answer sa ito ang message, sa ito ang chat box. Okay, we already have one answer. So far, one. We are waiting for the answers of other students. Oh, no, no, nagdagag one point. Dali na siya, di ba? Kagihatag naman ang x sub i minus x bar. So, para makita na to again, kung giyon sa ni pagkuha, giyon sa pag-generate ang table, kay basig dili ihatag niya yung table kung na exercises. So, kwaon ni mudaan ang mean. So, to get the mean, you have 82 plus 80 plus 83 plus 81 plus 79. That's 405. Divided by, pila sila kabuok, lima. Same dia hapon 81 ang mean. So therefore, 81 ang imong i-minus sa x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, and x sub 5. Let's start with x sub 1, the score of grace, 82 minus 81, that's 1. Next is 80 minus 81. Again, absolute value itong kwaon, so we will take the positive sign. So 1 dia hapon siya, positive. Next is 83 minus 81, we have 2. 81 minus 81, 0. And 79 minus 81, we have... Negative 2, pero absolute value man siya, so positive 2. Then the sum of this, 1, 1, 2, and 2 is equal to 6. So, moto siyang i-divide ni mo sa 5. So, the correct answer is 1.2. Congratulations to everyone who got the correct answer. And the first one, yung naghatawag answer, is si Dupla. 
Congratulations, yeah. dupla kay ikaw ang pinaka-paspas na naghatag og answer. So now we're going to compare once again. We have the, med the mean deviation for the boys 13.2 while the mean deviation for the girls is 1.2. So the same gihapon, the lower the value the better. So mas nindot ang 1.2 mas gamay compared sa 13.2. So mas okay ang performance sa girls in terms of variability as compared sa boys. Again, the girls are more homogeneous than the boys kay halos pare-pareha daw ang ilahang scores. Questions? None. So let's proceed to the third one. We have the variance. Variance is another. So again, the first is range. The second is the mean deviation. The third one is the variance. The third measurement of variability, and this is the average of the squared deviation from the mean. So as you can see, pare-pareha siya formula, di ba, sa ganina, sa mean deviation. Nag-gets ninyo? Pare-pareha ba siya og dagway ganina? Ibalik ka to, ha, ang katong formula sa mean. Mean deviation. Di ba, ano yung formula? Summation, tapos absolute value, x sub i minus x bar divided by n. Then, ang formula sa variance, sa ito ang tanawon, Diba? Wala lang siya absolute value, pero gihimo lang siya parenthesis, then raise to the power of 2. G-square na siya, square deviation, divided by n. Divided by n siya kung population variance. Pero kung sample lang siya, meaning dilita ng tao, yung mong gikuhaan o data, usually sample lang itong ginakuha, diba? Kaya nagkasampling lang man ta. So we will use the formula. S-squared, it represents the variance, ang S-squared is equal to Summation of the square. Butangan man mo siya o exponent nga to. Square of what? Katong x sub i minus x bar. Or x sub i, katong bawat uh, value ni mo sa imuhang data minus the mean. That's x bar. Divided by, instead of n, since sample variance man ka, n minus 1 yung denominator. Nag-gets din yo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, let's have the computation again. For the boys, so karon dili naman siya absolute value, di ba? So pwede na mag-negative ang iyahang deviation. Nani bar actually dali? Amot na wala man ang mga bar. So nani siya bar diha? It represents the mean. So again, paano na po na to ang mean? 81. And then, i-minus na po isa-isa. So you have 70 minus 81. That's why you have negative 11. 85 minus 81 is positive 14. 60 minus 11, negative 21. 80 minus 81, negative 1. And 100 minus 81, 19. Di ba na siya exponent ka 2 kay squared, ang tawag, square deviation. So, i-square to ni mo karon ang mga difference ni mo. So, kung mo square na ka, di ba, i-multiply ni mo by itself. Negative 11 times negative 11. That is why ang mga answer tanan dali, puro positive. Positive. And negative times negative is positive. Positive. Okay. So we have 121, 14 times 14, 196, and then for negative 21 squared, 441. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 19 squared is 361. Diba summation man to? So i-add na po ni mo tananing 121 up to 361. So you have 1,120. Divided by, nga nung 4 na lang man siya? It's because sample lang man itong kuikuha, sample. Minus 1 man, sir. Yes, yeah, sample formula, sample variance. So we have 5 minus 1, 4. So we have 280. So 280 is the variance for the boys. The guest, Tino? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, very yes, good. Sir. now yes. I will let you compute for the sample variance of the girls. And again, if you have the answer, you please send your answers to our group chat or chat box here in uh, Google Meet. So, pas pas ka ayun no, ang pinakauna naghahatag again is si Dupla 2.5, while well, Elihorde is 2, supported by other classmates 2.5. And napoy nag 2. Let's see. Again, i-minus ni nato ang bawat isa sa ila ka ng x sub i, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, up to x sub 5 by our mean, which is 81. So we have 
1, actually negative 1 yung isa, tapos 1, 2, and then 0, and then negative 2. Where anyway, pag square ni nato siya, mahimo ang gapon siyang positive. So we have 1, 1, 4, 0, 4. The sum is 10. So 10 will be divided by, because 10 is the summation of x sub i minus x bar squared, divided by 4. It's because 5 sila minus 1 kay sample man siya. So the answer is 2.5. Pas pas kay mo hatag ang si dupla. So si dupla na po ang swerting ko ang nakadakuha o score. Kay pas pas kay siya mo hatag sa answer. Do you have questions? This is variance. So again, kung i-compare niyo mong variance, ganina, dako kaayo ang score sa mga lalaki, it's 280. As compared to the scores of the girls, it's 2.5. So the same gihapon ang result. It means that the values of the variance also reveals the scores of the boys are more spread out than that of the girls. So mas kalat ang score sa boys compared sa girls. So mas okay ang performance sa girls kay mas Ano man sila, mas close ang ilahang score, dili spread out. The last or number four nga measure of variability is the standard deviation. So again, the first is the range. The second is the mean deviation. The third is the variance. Number four is the standard deviation. Muna siya ang ginagamit sa research. Standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So kung nakuha ni mo ang value sa variance ni mo, Kuhaon lang ito ni mo ang square root ato. That is already the standard deviation. Kaya di ba ang definition ganina sa variance is the squared deviation. So kung kuhaon ni mo ang square ato, kuhaon ni mo ang square root, so ang standard deviation na ang mga gawas. So if the boys a while ago has the standard deviation, the variance rather of 280, so by calculator, by using your calculator, you get the square root of 280. That is 16.73, approximately, if you will have the rounding off up to two decimal places. How about for the girls? Ang ilahang score ganina sa variance is 2.5. You just get the square root of the variance. Square root of 2.5, that is the standard deviation. So 1.58 is the standard deviation for the girls. So do you have any questions? None. Sir, no. Sir, dira na part, sir. Wala na ka-isolve, sir. Wala na. Kina-solve naman mo sa variance. Mag-square root na lang ka. Pero kung mubalik ka sa problem, another new problem na po ihatag sa imuha, then compute for the standard deviation. So, imuha yung agian, tong giagian ni mo ganina, kani. Katong ikuha pa ni mo ang variance, then afterwards, gi-square root dayo ni mo. Para makuha ni mo ang standard deviation. <laughs> Square root, sir, kay ka ng answer, sir, para sa 280 ka na yung square root. Yeah. Or ka 16.73. No. Paano na yung square root, sir, na 16.73? Square root of 280 ang kwaon. Square root of 280 is 16.73. 16.73. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Yes, the grace of hands, si Miss Ayop. Sir, okay yes, na, sir. No, ta na to okay. kung pangata na gayin na. Ang square root sa katong na is squared, the moment na magkuha na square root, mawala na good ng exponent. So, S na lang siya. So, S stands for the standard deviation. So, katong na siya ang last nga answer. Sample, so, again, ang gamitin mo ang gamitin na kung answer na formula. Yeah, ang, ang given kay sample, ang population in town, dagan kaayo na siya. So, you need a software to solve for the population variance. So, we are... Applying sample variance lang. So how about for the group data? Kung na mag-question group data, then kailangan yun din mo og uh, software or ang imong simple nga MS Excel will be very useful. So it follows the process. So ipakita lang ako ang process. Anyway, dili man ako pa-solve sa inyo ang group data kay daghan kay siya og mga formula nga i-follow. Just like this one, for the group data, the variance is the summation of F, which is the frequency, times the quantity of MP, this is actually the midpoint or the class mark, ganina, minus X bar is the mean of the group data. Tapos is square to ni mo siya, divided by N minus 1, since we are dealing with the sample variance. So di ba, diri palang daan sa imuhang formula, maglisod na ka, ug kuha, ug pangita sa mga values. So it's very complicated. So for the 
numerator, moto siya ang iyahang pasabot, summation of the products of the square, difference, and so on. So we have the different steps, kailangan ni mo kuhaon ang mean. So, yun sa pagkuha ang mean, i-apply na po ito ni mong i-explain ganina nga how to compute for the mean of group data. Di ba ka ito na-recall? Balik, balik na po sa ano, sir. Balik na po dito sa, kuhaon, gisaw ito ganina. Ganina, katong first PowerPoint presentation. So, di ba, complicated kayo siya. You really need to have your gadget. Mas nindo tayo. Dagan ni ka compute din, sir. Oo, dagan kay compute. So you have to follow different steps. So number two, kung ano pa ni mo ang midpoint, and then kung ano pa ni mo ang square deviation, before ni mo magsubstitute sa formula. So example kani, pakita na nako daan mo ni siya ang result sa Excel file. So kung mag Excel magugka, given na ang kaniyang class limits or katong class interval, and then frequency, and then imuhan lang siya ang butangan o formula. Ang midpoint is di ba katong iyang tunga tunga. So, compute ni mo diretsyo, tapos multiply ni mo ni row, uh, column 2 and 3, mo ni siya ang next, mo gawas, formula na lang yung tanan, and then ang yahang mean, katong giad ni mo tanan, ang kaning 114 to 62.5, divided by N, that is why you have 20.4. Tapos, i-minus ni mo isa-isa, there is a 28.5 minus 20.4, 14, 26.5 minus 20.14, so, naka-formula na tanan, i-drag lang lang ni mo. Tapos, ang result ani square ni mo, so naka-formula gapo na siya. So, 8.36 squared, mo na ni mo gawas, and so on. Tapos, ang kaning, kaning siya nga row, kita man ninyo ang cursor, no? I-multiply ni mo sa frequency, kanina rin, mo na ni ang ninggawas sa last. I-add na ni mo tanan, summation na, magapoy summation nga formula sa Excel. So, mo to siya, yung i-divide ka ron sa n minus 1. So that is why ang result, mo siya ganina ang ninggawas, divided by 99 kay 100 minus 1, 17.65. So pila lang ka minutes, makuha ni mga answer if you have the gadget. So since we are not measuring in mathematics, so dili ito mo ipasolve mo na ni Inani. Okay, anyway, when you will have your research later on, application mo ganis sa research, and criminology students have their research. Actually, ang naga compute sa inyong standard deviation will be your statistician. And the statistician has the software to do that. And actually, I am one of the statisticians who, are, who is doing research for criminology. So, ako na nag-solve ato actually. So, ang inyong lang is you have the basic knowledge kung giunza to pagkuha para namoy idea. Nag-gets ninyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And for the standard deviation, on the other hand, kwaon lang ni mo ang square root. As simple as that. So, kung naan na kayo nakuha ganina, kato sa ito ang isolve, is square root na lang ito ni mo. So, nagapon siya yung mga different steps. So, i-run through lang na ko na siya. So, if we will have the same data nga gigi-present ganina, di mo ka nalang i-continue. So, butangan niyo ang square root, di ba? 17.65 man to. Square root of that is 4.2. But usually, ang gina-report sa inyong research is the standard deviation para makita ninyo kung spread out ba ilahang answer sa respondents or DD. So, I think that would be all for the statistics sir, part. Sir, sir. Yes, do you have questions? Sir, balik na ko dito sa ano, sir. Kato kung naay mga ano, sir. Naay mga mean. Kato, sir. Asa ito? Sige pa, sir. Dara lang sa dara ito. Sir, asa okay. kuwan ka ng kuwan, sir? 20.14, sir. Naglibog mo. Mean is siya. Okay, ah, no, it's okay. Uh, if you will get the mean for the group data, if you can still remember a while ago, sa so first part, no, katong mga naka-appeal sa to ang first part karong session, di ba, gipagkita na ko sa inyo ang solving for the central tendency of the group data. The first is the mean. Di ba, ang formula niya is summation of F times X sub M, if you can still remember. Frequency times the midpoint, summation, mo ni siya, 2014. Divided by the frequency. Divided by 100. Moni siya. 2014 divided by 100. 20.14. Moni siya ang mean. Aning kaninga data. Kaning first two rows na manggod ang gihatag. I mean, first two column lang ang gihatag sa problem. Kung paano na ito ang mean niya, so mo ito nag-add taong mga other column like midpoint and frequency times midpoint. Mo ito siya ang importante nga data to get the mean. Mean ang tawag aning 
Okay. 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 Thank you. Isa pa na yung other questions. So we are just done with the, the statistical part of GE4. And uh, we are now on your third examination. Sure. So I will stop recording, Muna, then I will entertain your questions.